Tip off goes to Milwaukee. And here's Holiday. Let's check out Milwaukee's starting lineup. At forward, it's the talented Giannis and Middleton. Holiday and Allen are at guard form, and it's Lopez in at the five down low. Pass to Beverly. Right side, Davis. Beverly, the pass to Davis. And finished off by Davis. Well, it's the golden age of point guards and Patrick Beverly trying to show that he belongs amongst them. Great awareness on that play. Here's Kumpo, Rebounded by the Lakers. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. And he handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Man, good whistle there. Chris Middleton. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Lakers, Troy Brown Jr. Two, two shots. Free throw good, Brown. And both free throws good for Brown. Here's Carter. Here's Portis. Can't hit it from 12 feet. And that does it for the first quarter. Lakers ahead. They're up by four. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter. Zero. Let's hear it for the most legendary dance team on the planet. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And from what we've seen from the Lakers, what's your take so far? Well, so far, they've got things rolling along nicely at the offensive end. They couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. LeBron is the four with Davis at the five as they go small. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Toscano in at the three slot. That's the group for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. Here's Nora. Back to Carter for three. Buries it from three. Carter's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. Schroeder passes to James. Offensive rebound. Shoots over Portis. And James gets it to go. James has got his second basket. And LeBron, even at this age, still with his size, such a force. Pass to Portis. Fades. And there it is for him. He didn't need to fade back. No one in his face, but he buried it anyway. From deep. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. The Lakers on top, leading... And the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. And trying as they fight, they could. And that's going to. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. And here are the Lakers. Three-point lead. Taking a look at the Bucks. Holiday and Allen are at guard form. Middleton is the three, with Giannis playing the power forward. And it's Lopez in at the five, roaming the paint. Here's Brown. Good work defensively by Lopez. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. 
And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Bryant, he's checked in for the Lakers. Nunn comes in for Brown. Bryant, Kendrick Nunn. Beverly, the pass to James. And we've got 28 seconds left in the third quarter. LeBron it's good. Well, once LeBron James gets in that deep, two points. Easy. James has gotten three of his five to go tonight. Anadokounmpo outside. 12 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Five on the clock. Goes back up. James with the block. Here's some advice. Don't go after LeBron James. And we've watched three so far in this one. The Lakers on top, leading by five. The Bucks. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. LeBron is the four, with Davis at the five as they go small. Kendrick Nunn out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Reeves in at the three, the small forward. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Shooting for the one. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Two shots. He hits the first one. And that shrinks the margin to... Well, I love that Giannis is sticking to his method for free throws. His confidence remains high. And he makes both free throws. Yeah, just a fruitful trip to the line. He's made this a one-possession game. Anadokounmpo against James. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Yeah, made for spots like this. It's the king at the line. He gets the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. The Lakers making a switch here. Brown's checked in. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Portis is checked in, and he hits both free throws here. And it's a five-point game. Perfect from the line. It's now a two-possession game. Timeout called. Milwaukee. They're down by five. All right, fans. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Your thoughts, guys? They don't want to waste time here. If they can score fast enough, they can go back on D and try to get a stop instead of having to foul. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer was going over with his team. He was calm but confident. He asked them to be quicker getting to their offense and intense on D. He said, we're right there. We have to get some quick hitters and then pressure the ball. He knows they're low on time, but he sees a way back. Okay, thanks, Allie. Second team ball. At the line for Los Angeles, LeBron James. Taking two shots. So the first one drops, and that increases the lead to six. And LeBron James, for all the things that he does on the floor in terms of his skill set, there's a quality of leadership that becomes the X factor and gives teams confidence that they're going to have a chance to win an NBA title. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Some padding here on the free throw line, some good work. Time called here. The Bucks decide to talk it over. They're down by seven. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. All right, time now to present our new balance player of the game, LeBron James. Just a dominant force for them on the offensive end tonight. I mean, stepping up big when his team needed, being able to gather a big share of their points. <laughs> it's safe to say this game would have been a rough one for them without him in the mix. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. For three, Allen. James with the rebound. Oh, 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 oh. 
So we see the Lakers get the win here. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum. LeBron, it was a challenge for you tonight as far as the matchup went. How much does that motivate you in a game like this? My matchup is not an individual matchup. It's, it's us as a team trying to get better. And uh, we were able to hold court. So it was a good win for us. Thanks, LeBron. Guys. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.